welcome back to Dog Paw Blog. Today's video, I am going to show you how I set up a new fish tank. So, I have this 29 gallon here that I got at Petco. Um, I did have the goldfish in this before. Um, so I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but it's pretty dirty. So I'm going to clean it out. I don't know if you'll be able to pick up any of that, that how scuzzy the inside of it is. So I'm gonna clean it and kind of show you from there uh, what I do to set up a tank from start to finish. So first thing is, let's go rinse it out really good. Okay, so I have it moved into the tub, which is the same place I've washed the dogs in. So I'm gonna rinse it out, wipe out the inside, and then let it dry. Okay, so now I'm gonna get some paper towel and wipe off the inside, one more rinse, and then we're gonna let it dry. Okay, so it's all cleaned out. I'm gonna just wipe it out um, really good again from the inside and set it to dry. And then uh, in a couple days, I will paint it. All right, it is the next day. This tank is dry. I'm going to take this tank and put it on the table so I can paint it. And I'm gonna show you that. Um, I do this for like a background. Um, it's just cheaper than buying those vinyl ones and replacing them. I like the way it looks to have a black background. Um, the filters don't show as much and you can really see the fish stand out. It does take a few minutes in between each coat in order for it to dry, so I'm gonna paint, do something else, paint, do something else. You can use a blow dryer um, if you're in a hurry. I am still gonna let this tank sit out overnight. Um, I'm probably gonna wait till Monday. It's Saturday now, so Monday to finish setting this up with the, the fish inside, uh, but you will see me paint it today. Okay, so it's on the table. It's upside down, if you can tell, that this is the actual bottom, and then this is gonna be the back. Um, it'll be easier to paint it that way. Um, I am gonna wipe the outside surfaces off with um, alcohol just to clean them, and I'm gonna show you the paint that I'm using. This is the paint, it's, um, let's see, uh, here we go. <laughs> it is Liquitex acrylic color. Uh, basics I got this on Amazon and it is in the color um, ivory black uh, there were two different kinds of black uh, so I just picked the ivory one I figured that would be the darkest one um, and this is the about eight eight ounce um, tube so I have three of these and then I have a mini roller and a little baby paint tray so let's get started This tank was previously painted um, like a light sand color and then blue. Um, so there's some of that paint still on the glass, which is what I'm scraping off. That's the nice thing about using the acrylic paint is because if you get it wet, it'll peel off. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then we're going to paint. I have my little tray here and my little mini roller works really well with this. This is um, a foam roller. They, they have the one that's kind of more like a cottony kind, but this is just a foam one. The acrylic paint. And let's get started. I'm not going to paint um, tape the edges because this part doesn't show on the bottom and then this part just goes along the wall, so I don't ever tape them. So I'm going to start and I like to alternate the direction. So if I go um, up and down the first coat, I'll go lengthwise the second time. So let's start up and down.
So I'm going to move to the back and get some more paint. Now with this paint, I find that I usually need about five coats, um, just so you can't see any light through the back of the tank. Um, and so when there's light shining through the tank, you don't see like splotches. So I like to do about five coats of this. So we'll take like 20 minute breaks in between. And then, yeah. So we're gonna just go up and down again so I know which way to do it next time. We'll do them the same. <laughs> So we're gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes. I'm not gonna make you watch paint dry. So I will, I wanted to just uh, show you how I put down like the coat and it's not this big deal. Like I was like, oh, you can paint your aquarium. Um, when I first saw someone do it, but I really like the way it looks. I really like the way it turns out. So I wanted to show you at least in real time, one time, but I won't make you sit here and watch me paint four more coats of this. Uh, but you will see the final result. And then in a couple days, You'll see the tank being set up. It is Tuesday. I think we started on Saturday. Um, so it's dry. I'll walk around and kind of show you. But I did get the top cut. This is just um, egg crate. Um, it also uses a light diffuser if you're ever trying to find it in Home Depot or Lowe's. Asking them where the egg crate is not going to go very well. Um, <laughs> but asking them where the ceiling fan, drop towels, um, lighting diffusion are you'll get a better chance of finding it so all I did was cut it so that it rests on the inside um, edge there and I cut out a space for the filter and a space for the heater this was already here from something else I had used this for so I just decided to leave that alone and put the heater there um, so this is the tank there's Bam Bam as well let me see him see you can kind of just see Bam Bam but you can tell it's been painted the back and the bottom are black that's why it's so reflective and then um, on Thursday excuse me Bam Bam on Thursday I will um, do the normal water change and then switch everything over so I'll check back in with you guys on Thursday Alright, it is a couple of days later and I think I am ready to switch these guys into the larger tank. Today is Thursday. Thursday is the day that I normally change out the water in all the aquariums. So I figured save it till Thursday and then I'll just do a water change and move everybody into the big aquarium. So, hi Cupcake. I cut the top so that's good to go and it fits perfectly on the aquarium. The aquarium is dry, it's been painted. So, what I think I'm gonna do is take out all of the decorations and put them in a bucket with about maybe half the aquarium water. And then I'm going to clean out the poop that's on the bottom from the snails. And then I am going to switch everybody over. So let's get started. I'm going to start by, you know, I have to unplug the, the filter and the lights, um, but I just have my buckets here. Got three buckets there. Um, some of the buckets I'm going to be putting in the animals, and then some of the buckets are going to be the decorations, and then one bucket's going to be the poopy water that I'm going to dump. So <laughs> let's get started. So turn this off. You won't be able to see as well. But I have to turn that off because I'm going to drain some of the water. Take the decorations out. Kind of rinse them off a little bit. Shake off the snail poop. Put that in the bucket. I do have some. 
some live plants. All the decorations are out. The snails and the fish are still in. I'm going to siphon out the poop that's in here into the bucket because I don't want that to go into the clean um, tank. Because this tank is bigger, I have a different um, heater, so I'll switch the heater up too. So, what I've done so far is take the decorations out and put some of the water and the snails in the bucket, move the partially empty 20 over that still has the rasboras in, if you can see them. And now I'm gonna put the 29 on the stand, set it up with the heater, refill it, move the fish and the snails back in. Started the tank, we cleaned it, and then um, painted it, made a top for it, saved some of the water and the filter media, put that in the new tank, filled it, moved the, the, the plant in the pets. I need to remount, if you can see, I need to remount this on the wall so that it creates a proper drip loop so that if there's water that spills from the cords, it doesn't go right into the outlet. So I'm gonna mount that. Here's the 29. Uh, I'm gonna keep checking back on to make sure that the heater is calibrated correctly um, and just make sure that the tank doesn't get too hot. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, give me a thumbs up. If you are subscribed, make sure that your notifications are turned on. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. and. Go ahead and subscribe for more pet videos. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.